Hi everyone, today we're going to be colouring this fruit here. Now I have decided that this is a blackberry. There's another very similar fruit to this um, lower on the page with a leaf and I think that's a raspberry. It's going to be open to debate but I'm going to do this one as a blackberry and if you decide that the other fruit on the page is the one you want to do as a blackberry you can just use the same method. Now blackberries are very black obviously but um, I want to do a sort of base of purple first. I think it gives it a nice um, sort of background for us to work on and um, it just gives it a slightly more tempting colour, shall we say. So I'm using um, um, Polychromo's Mauve. This is the darkest purple they have. It isn't the... let's just pop this into the middle, there we go. It isn't a really, really dark purple, but it'll give us a nice base to then put some black on too. So I'm putting a medium pressure at the moment. Now this will have shine, all these little, and I'm going to do that with a pen. Um, it's easier because it's quite small. I can't leave a little circle of white. I just don't think that's going to be a practical thing to do. So uh, just gently colour away. Now I'm going to start marking out some of the um, um, what I sort of want to achieve with this, which is I want it to be darker around each of these separate bits with a lighter centre. So I'm going to, as I say, I'm going to start marking that out with this purple and then we'll add some black after. Oh, the sun's gone in. I hope, it's, I hope the camera's coping. Okay. It looks okay. It keeps coming in and out, which isn't good. But I didn't put my lamp on because... Um, I'm a bit worried about whether it's causing a strobe effect on the film or not. I'm hoping to get a new one soon. I've been thinking and looking, but the problem is I find um, I find technology so dull. In fact, I find most shopping really dull. I look, I've got an idea of what I want. I look for five minutes, and if I can't find what I want, I'm bored and I stop. I just, I don't know, it's just me. I can, I've got a bit more tolerance for colouring pencils and colouring books, funnily enough. Although actually with colouring books, because I only buy Johanna Basford's books, um, I just order them when they come out. So it's not like I'm spending ages looking. Actually, I haven't ordered her new one yet. Um, 30 Days of Creativity. Um, it does, it sounds quite different. Um, I prefer just a colouring book, I have to say, because I'm not I'm not that good at drawing. But I did have a go at how to draw Inky Wonderlands. I have um, completed it. I have been brave enough to do a flip through so you can see my attempts at drawing, which were not brilliant. But I just want to help encourage people to have a go. So now I've grabbed my black. I'm going to put a coating of black <sighs> sorry, over the whole thing. Now you see I'm going over where I've left the white, but that's okay because we're going to go in with a pen. And now I've done that roughly, I'm going to go in with each individual one. Now I really want to define each little separate um, piece and it's getting tricky for me to see because as it gets darker it hides Johanna's lines and makes it harder for me to actually see where each individual piece is, but I'm getting there. And what you could do if you want it really, really defined, is you could go into those gaps where it would be shadowy underneath each of the little separate pieces with a black pen. And that would just emphasize that line. Gosh, the sun is going in and out, in and out. Is that what happens on a cloudy day in the UK? I don't know if it's going to rain today. I, haven't, I think it is forecast for rain later. But I've already been out. I had to post a parcel. So I went out early. I had a mooch around a shop and then got bored. 
I was found talking to the shop assistants far more interesting than actually shopping. I'm just going to reduce that white patch because it was a bit obviously big and that one. I'm just looking in the camera for a bit of guidance. So there we are and I hope you can see that there is some purple showing through the black a little bit and it just gives it a little added dimension of colour which I really like. Now I could go in there now with a gel pen but to be honest I like it like that with just a tiny bit of shine. I think you could emphasise the shine a lot and they are shiny but I think I like it as it is so I'm not going to um, to do much more with that. I'm just going to look at the leaves now. I'm finding it quite tricky to find a picture of a blackberry. I put blackberry into my search engine to get a photo and of course I got lots of phones and uh, similar type things. Right, the leaves. The green is quite a mid-leaf green, I suppose. Um, gosh, there's a siren outside. I'm going to, that it's quite light to start with. So actually I'm gonna grab my May green, which is rather light, and just do a, to just start with that. Because it's not as dark as I thought it was. When you see bushes they look really dark but actually in this photo it's not. So I'm just going to put a layer of that over and then I want to emphasise some of the shadows in, that would be in the leaves and I'm going to use my permanent green opaque. I just need to sharpen it. And that looks very, very actually quite luminous -y yellow in the camera. But we'll get there. We'll change it so that it works. So I'm going to go into all the areas where I think it's going to be darker and really push down into those and add layers, lots of layers to get that darker. And then just reduce my pressure to the tips of the these parts because they'll be lighter. Now here we're going to be darker at the bottom than the top. That's quite difficult to do because they're so small. I'm just going to do my best with that. And there we have that bit. And now I'm going to get an even darker green. I think I'm going to... Hmm. This isn't really realistic how it looks, to be honest, but I'm just going for it now. This is the pine green. There is actually... Often these bits are a bit of dead flower. So it's quite brown and dead. I don't want to do that. I want it to look green and healthy. So this pine green is just being added to darken up a little, add some more shadow. And we could define the difference between these little leaves by putting a line in and a bit more in there to darken those. And then I'm going to grab the chromium green opaque again and just use this to blend it in a little bit. I don't want, I can see some lines and things which I'm not very keen on. The polys um, are quite like, I'm just going to sharpen the may green, quite like lots of layering. So uh, here's the may green. You can see this is a new one because it's got different font on. This is an old one, it's in caps, look, and it's a new one and look at the size of it. It is one of my favourites, We have to, I have to say. Um, I may have to uh, get a new one soonish again. But I've got some new sets of pencils that I've been playing with, so there we are. So uh, that's, uh, um, so they might, uh, they, they might take over a little bit. So there's our Blackberry. I'm going to leave it there. I think that's come out pretty well. I'm quite pleased. Obviously, if you want your um, flowery bit to look a bit more realistic, you might want to go in for a sort of more dead brown type colour. But uh, I just like it like that. So uh, it's up to you, really. But uh, I hope you enjoyed that one. It's, again, another short one today. But uh, thank you so much for watching and happy colouring.